Walking Dead, it had one guy, one look, and I was coming in to do another another look. And, you know, Robert had the confidence in me that I was going to draw completely different to Tony Moore, um, which we are, you know, stylistically, we're, we're miles apart. And uh, so it was quite tricky because the fans were used to a certain look to the book, you know, and, and I had to sort of, you know, after six issues, they had got used to that that way of drawing and, and how the characters looked. And of course, I came in and I'm quite single minded and I tend to just draw as I draw. I'm not going to compromise and draw like somebody else. I, I was just coming to the end of uh, doing a couple of Batman fill in issues for DC, obviously. And uh, there was nothing directly on the horizon. So it just seemed like the next thing to do. I remember thinking, oh, I'll probably do this for, you know, six issues and then do something else. And what issue are we at now? <laughs> 95. <laughs> yeah. I think if the TV show copied the comic book completely, um, you could argue what was the point of the TV show. It has to be its own beast. It's, and it's a different medium, different creative, creative people are working on it, aside from Robert. Uh, so, you know, th- this... This has to go off on its own thing, but I'm absolutely fine with that. Uh, the zombies, you know, as great as they are, and as, as much as uh, I think uh, uh, for the fans are kind of a, an inlet into the book, um, I think once we got them in via the sort of the zombie um, hook, uh, we sort of keep them there by the characters. Why it's become so big it, it eludes me. I think it, it literally is just one of those things that, that certain things just happen to capture the public zeitgeist over something else, and it's inexplicable. You know? I was brought up with uh, the, the black and white Marvel UK stuff. I still vividly remember one of my earliest memories of my dad coming home uh, way, way back in about 1972, 73 perhaps, I'm not sure, with, uh, with The Mighty World of Marvel number one which was a reprint of Fantastic Four the Hulk and Spider-Man and at the tender age of I don't know six or seven whatever age I was then I was I was hooked I think there's a in the last 10 20 years well 10 years especially I think TV shows have sort of been granted this more filmic status you know they're there they've suddenly risen beyond just being you know that sort of stuff we were as children regarded as just, you know, that was the television, this all oh, this was the movies, you know. I think nowadays, you know, um, TV shows can be just like the movies, so it's, and, and filmed as such, and, and have the same feel, and, you know, almost feel as big as as films. So, you know, you look at some of the shots in The Walking Dead, and you think, my God, I'm watching a, you know, <laughs> a a large budget film here. You know, the money they lavished, lavished on the on the first series, you know, was... was you know, the equivalent of, um, you know, a medium budget movie.